I think today is the day we finally spread our wings and fly out of our nest. Yes, this Asgardian town, this abandoned village that we've moved into and has housed us for the last maybe two weeks or so. Maybe even three weeks, actually. It's been quite some time. I think it's time we, uh, we leave it. It's housed us. It's homed us. It's settled us it's it's really been a fantastic place to let us get our things together and our you know everything in a row but i think we've uh, we've outgrown it i think we've got everything ready we've got a nice stash of dinosaurs now we've got a nice stash of uh, resources of loot of structures i think it's time we uh we head on back to the overworld and build a an official base a real base. One that will hopefully fit my creatures in it. Because right now we're struggling a little bit. <laughs> we're outgrowing this one very, very quickly. So today we're heading back to the overworld. And uh, hopefully we are finally going to find our future base location. Hopefully one that doesn't get terrorized by strong, crazy, vicious, carnivorous beasts. Uh, or giant Lucifer-esque demons. <laughs> and hopefully we get, uh, we get ourselves a nice old home. I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. Without further ado, I think we should get into this thing. So, what are we bringing with us? What do we need exactly? To be honest, not a lot. For one, I need myself a flyer. We're going to bring our wyvern with us for obvious reasons. I also went and uh, recovered our Gigaplura that we left in the overworld. I just happened to end up near it during one of my teleportations. And I was like, yo, I'm going to grab that guy. And we brought him back. So, that was pretty sweet. Everybody is together. We brought him back only to send him back. Now, we are also going to need a teleporter. We crafted this up yesterday, so we've got an awesome teleporter ready to go. Also, repaired my set of armor, so we can actually sponge a couple hits now instead of, like, dying in an instant. Unless we enter some caves and fight some Arthropleuras, which I'm going to try my best not to do, because I don't really... Yeah, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. So, we're going to... Oh, boy, do we teleport? Or do we, like... I completely forgot we even had this thing. Um, like we can go anywhere we want. There's some pretty sweet places down the bottom here. This place kind of sucks. Um, I honestly want to check out this top half of the map though. So what I'm actually maybe, uh, uh, eh, I don't even know where all these teleportation locations are. Let's go here. The Vanaheim, no, Vanaheim terminal, the green obelisk. That's where we're going to go. Why? Because I've never been there before. And, uh, well, I'm possibly crashing right now. No, we're good. We're teleporting. All right. Okay. Whoo, I just thought I was staring at a bear that was about to fight me. I swear I just heard some form of attack. I think we are okay, though. Aside from the very derpy tree line that is currently surrounding us. <laughs> let's just let that sort itself out and we'll, uh, I don't know, let's, let's head out. Let's see where we are first because this is quite... Quite a nice looking area, I'm not gonna lie. First things first, I can see a little rune across here. This is this is actually pretty sweet. Um, what do we have over here? Aside from a green Kano, that's probably... Oh, there we go, I picked it up. A demonic Kano. See, I still don't know where demonics fit into the scheme of things. I'm assuming it's a stronger um, dreadful, but they also give me sweet loot. So I'm gonna quickly give him a couple little nibbles. Sorry, Kano, mate. Sorry, buddy. Thank you very much for a divine Morella top saddle. With that, we'll, uh, yeah, that would be nice to break down into some souls and stuff because I don't know if I'll have a team of Morella tops. But anyways, let's keep on looking. Let's have a look at what we've got around. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is that? Also, don't mind the giant wing over there. Okay. Um, uh, sorry, I just got like overwhelmed with goosebumps because I didn't expect it. Is there a blood stalker on this thing's back? Oh my goodness. All right, all right. Let's let's just let's get some distance because I, I kind of want to get a close look at this thing. What am I looking at right now? It's like a giant mechanical dragon beast. Um, <laughs> uh, the Atel Drago, anomaly detected engaging in combat. It sure is. Um, it, it, um, I don't know what I'm, yeah, cool. Okay, fantastic. I don't want to go near it because I've seen its little laser beams and they look kind of deadly. It's also fighting a, a, a mighty scorching wyvern. Dude, also, is that a dreadful rex? There is a dreadful rex down there too. Uh, also, I keep looking at my own wings and they're scaring me. I also saw this, the legendary storm drake over here. A towering gentle giant. You must wait for it to bend down to look for food and then you can feed it. Interesting. Damn, this thing looks 
amazing to be honest with you uh no 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 we're getting distracted we're getting distracted from the overall arcing overarching goal all right we're gonna ignore giant dragons for a second we're looking for a base i keep saying it i keep getting distracted from it i don't think this is a good place for a base just based on the giant dragons we've been met with the second we've kind of appeared here but uh let's keep looking let's keep looking Honestly, it doesn't even have to be anything too overwhelming. It just needs to be a nice space that I can build something somewhat safe in. This is very high. Oh, look at this. It's a nice waterfall over here. In fact, this whole area over here looks pretty sweet. Haven't, I don't recall ever exploring this area. So maybe it could be a nice little spot to check out. Nice little mountaintop oasis with a whatever that is inside of it. What is that? That's a uh, dreadful Uniranus, but only an adolescent. Hmm, just a baby one. In fact, there are a lot of divines out here. My goodness. I should really be farming all of these guys for their souls. But that's not what we're here for. We're looking for a base and no, 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 all I found was a dragon. Another dragon. We are literally flying around in the land of the dragons right now. Alarion, this guy here's name is. It legit... Okay, and then there's whatever that thing is. The Omega Earth Dragon, potentially? Um, damn, this guy looks nuts. All right, cool. Well, not looking at dragons. We're not here dragon scoping today. What I do want to look at, though, was this giant waterfall over here because that just looked majestic. Where did that go? Here, look at this thing. Bridges across it and everything. There's, there's literally... There's literally... Look at this guy just, just cruising across it. Not a, not a worry in the world. Not afraid of nothing. Demonics everywhere. Oh, my goodness. I could farm up... That's at level 270 alpha dreadful racks. Oh my goodness. That would actually be such a good tame. That might even be better than our alpha woolly mammoth, which is crazy because our woolly mammoth is ridiculously strong. Nope, nope. Must resist the temptation. Must resist the temptation to tame stuff because that's not what we're doing today. Tech Stegosaurus. That's not really that exciting. All right. That's um, interesting. Hold on a second. Why am I hearing? Whoa. Did you just... Whoa! Wait, what? No, what? What? <laughs> what is going... Okay, hold on a second. This guy's got to die. This guy needs to go. Hold on, hold on. You're causing problems, matey. Hey, 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 hey. Get out of here. Hey, you're the one summoning the giant meteors. I thought it was somebody else. I trusted you. I trusted you. How... Oh, my God. They're coming up from the, the ground as well. They actually hit really hard, too. I'm talking like 300 damage. All right, buddy. Uh, I don't know who you think you're dealing with, but I am the almighty Miola, and you're summoning meteors from the sky. I hope these things don't hit me. I don't know what sort of damage they would be dealing if they did, but, um, all right. Okay, okay. So far, so good. <laughs> this is crazy. I love it. I love crazy. I am kind of a little bit crazy. Maybe more than a little bit crazy. You know what? We, we, I, I, I would tame you if you had a taming bar, but you do not have a towel. That one hit me. That did hit me. I felt it. Ouch. Okay, that should do decent damage. Guess what? I got a decent amount of health. So your damage is peasantry to me. And uh, you, my friend, are no longer a threat to me. I didn't think he was the one making all that, that, that music either. Um, I honestly thought there was something going on down here that I'd like miss. Ooh, demonic sarco. Low level, so not worth taming. But these guys do hook you up with the loot. So don't mind if I do. Yeah, just didn't give us anything too crazy. Dreadful Spino down there. Must resist temptation. We've got a mission at hand. We must complete it. Let's keep moving. Eyes on the prize. Don't even know what the prize is anymore. The prize. We've been looking at this. What in the world? When did we start playing Lord of the Rings? Because uh, I'm getting Lord of the Rings vibes over here. Damn, this thing is interesting. Okay. All right. Dude, this is sick. We got a fantastic waterfall over here. You guys know how excited I get over waterfalls. Um, you get, I mean, not to mention the giant base right in front of our eyes. Hello. I don't even think I can walk my wyvern up this. I just want to. I just want to. It feels like the right thing to do right here. Um, I feel like we're like gonna we gotta protect the people from the orcs or something. But dude, my guy Fitz, have a look at this. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay. We got little underground caverns. I'm not looking to do cave exploring. No, this is just a, this is just a room. This is just a room. Okay. Cool. 
I don't know what I'd do with the room, but there, there is a room here. I wouldn't live inside. Maybe I'd live in. No, nah, I wouldn't live inside. It's a little bit of a little bit too dungeony for my liking, I think. What about over the other side of this town? Could this be? <gasps> Ooh, hello. Can I pick? Can I pick you up without dismounting? Yeah, we can. Sixteen out of two hundred collected. Still not sure what they do, by the way. But um, we're slowly collect, slowly knocking them off. This is a pretty sweet area. I could duck and live in here. I don't know where I would place all the terminals. I guess you could chuck them around there. Then again, there is more to this base. I think. Let's have a look. Can I get inside of here on my wagon? Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't, I didn't think that this gate was a little bit too small for my dude. Um, I need a torch or something, don't I? Because it, it is rather dark in here. And I get the feeling there is a cave at the back. Yeah, I'm feeling cape. Then again... I've got that little home buff. So is this a home? Is this a... There's definitely a cave. Definitely. I've got... Yeah, I can, yeah definitely a cave. Yeah, definitely a cave. Cave. Oh, there's creatures in here too. All right. All right. It's one step at a time. Just a few bats. I'm not seeing anything too dangerous. We've got crystal in here. I do need crystal. Still not carrying a pickaxe for some reason. Uh, don't ask me why. I don't know. I've got to repair my hatchet as well. What is wrong with me? Um, okay, no, this is this is still part of the base. Okay. Um, real quick. Let me get some crystal. Don't need the stone, but crystal is just one of those things that I always kind of forget to collect. So let me just grab that. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Get a spear back out. Um, I'm not seeing any arthropleuras, and that's making me feel really nice. I could keep my dinosaurs in here. It's like a giant personal swimming. Oh, no, there is an arthropleura. It's an alpha one, too. Well, at least it's not a Giga Plura also. Black Pearls. Nice. Okay. I would go down there. But, you know, there is the slight problem of an Alpha Arthur Plura. Hey, buddy. Bam. 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 See ya. See you later, Onik. Um, I would like to deal with that. But I don't have, like, a good ranged weapon to deal with it. I want the Black Pearls. But, yeah, no, nah, I'm good. I've had enough fun with Arthur Pluras recently. Uh, I think... Oh. Oh, okay. He's on the move too. Hey, buddy. Um, I just repaired my armor, so I don't feel like having that broken just right now. So, I'm going to ignore you. Uh, interesting. See, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Very, very cool vibes, and I like it. Very ominous in here as well. I guess this bat wants to die, so I'll, I'll give, go and, you know, give him his wish. Buddy. Can't even hit it. What is going on? There we go. See you later. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about this. I can't. I can't. I don't even know how to get out of here. I'm stuck. I'm lost. I think I missed the entry. exit. Here it is. Or maybe the bat was just trying to leave or something. I don't know. Okay. Fight music. Interesting. I'm not sure. I can't really. I mean, this is a sweet area, but I can't really like envision building a base here. It's it's like in this part I can but is it big enough because it's kind of smaller than what we've currently got and it, it, it I mean that makes no sense why would we move from a big space to a small space when I'm looking for more room particular like I, it's literally what I'm looking for looking for more space unless I live on top of no that makes no sense either oh this is such an awesome area all right we're gonna put it on the short list okay the short list is where this one here begins belongs whatever um yeah and we'll, we'll come back to it maybe if I get desperate However, this has some interesting stuff in it that I don't even have yet. We've got, all right, we've got resources. We've got some Gaia Miracle Grow. Works like the vanilla fertilizer, but 10 times more potent. Um, a weird glowing mushroom. We've got a Stego Saddle and a Crafting Elixir. Multiply your crafting speed by 4 to 30 minutes. All right, well, hey, I just so happen to be looking for a base spot, which means we're going to be crafting up a lot of base stuff soon, which means, uh, well, it's a great time to have that. Also, Alpha Dreadful Rex, level 190, right above us. Pretty sweet. Also, look at this. This is amazing. Oh, I'm getting so tempted. All right, hold on. There's a big spot here that I've never explored. Yeah, literally here. I've never been here before. I, oh, what is that? Good luck pronouncing that one. Sclickasikasikasarasaurus. Sclicker, oh, yep, cool. Skrillex, basically. Okay, let's, oh, gee, I might have died to one of them now that I think about it. Hey, buddy. Brother, how are you? Mighty Etium Wyvern. I can actually tame you. No, I can't. He has a Torpor bar, though. Interesting. 
All right. I mean, this looks kind of basey. You can build a base up here. This is this is a this is a beautiful part of the map. This is what I'd go for. Oh, what in the world is this? I nearly missed this completely. There's an actual village up here. Whoa. Okay. Hey, you know, I mean, I do tend to gravitate towards pre-existing abandoned villages, don't I? There's griffins over here too. I want a griffin. Oh, why are all the griffins level 30? Who wants a level 30 griffin? Not me. That's absolutely atrocious. Every griffin I've found this series has been such a low level. But this area looking pretty sweet. There's a few little houses. A lot of room for improvement. But kind of dangerous. A lot of, a lot of creatures fighting currently around here, aren't there? Um, all the gates are kind of wide open. But you can throw a gate in. Like, it doesn't need to stay that way. I didn't even know, man. I didn't even know. Hold on a second. This map is littered with places to live. All right. Have I... I don't think I've been here before. Let me quickly stop and grab this rune. Um, there is a giant castle over here. Yeah, grab that one. Fantastic. In fact, I'm pretty sure I forgot... I left one, one at, at... I'm pretty sure I left one at that other place. I saw it and I forgot to collect it. Alpha Ghastly Carnage. I'm going to kill this. Because... I'm pretty sure when you kill a ghastly, they summon in an elemental version of themselves. So if I kill this, there is a chance we might get like a, yo, hello, what are you? And where did you come from? A banshee. Can you go elsewhere? Thanks for that. Appreciate you sp spilling your vile whatever goop all over me. Um, just trying to get this guy. I want this guy dead. I want to see what he summons in on top of us. Except I'll be in the sky, so he won't be able to hurt me. This, this wyvern's so hard to control. <laughs> Hence the back end. Oh! What in the world? Um, why is my dude asleep? Okay, we're taking him down by hand now. All right, I don't know what's going on with my wyvern? Wait, what is electrocuting me? Okay, you got. Oh! Rock, rock thing! Rock monster! Okay, wyvern's alive. Wyvern's awake. Hello, tempered colossus. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Can I fly this thing out of water or... No! What is going on? Okay, we're good. I'm just, you know... Uh, are we good though? <laughs> Where did you even come from? Not cool, bro. Not cool. Um, Oh, gosh. Oh, I can't even throw a bowl because I'm in the water. What? Okay, we got to go, bro. We got to go. We got to go. No! All right. I don't even know how I'm alive, but we are. I'm just going to wait. Right. Go. 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 Go, son. Go. Get out of here. Ho, 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 ho. All right. That was a thing. That just happened. I don't even know what just happened. Um, dang it. Tempered Colossus, you suck. How dare you do that while I'm all exposed in the water and stuff. Pretty sure the Kano died, and I reckon that's what it summoned. Virulent. Eh, doesn't look that strong. Worth, it, worth an attempt. I kind of want to get revenge on this thing now. I wonder if that's the attack he dropped. I reckon he lightning blasted me. He like EMP'd us. Yeah, get wrecked, man. That was really not cool. Yeah! <laughs> he hit me with a rock! That's what did it! Alright then. Not what I expected. Hey! Oh my... I can't believe this guy... No, not back in the water! No, not back in the water! I hate the water, I hate the water. It smells... It smells funny. It makes me feel weird. In fact, I'm pretty sure this dreadful wyvern can, can swim or something, because naturally, casually, is just... He's just flying underwater now or something. Oh, thanks, Bombdo. Thanks. I really needed you to contribute something to, to all of this madness. Enough with your giant rocks! Oh! Okay, this is getting frustrating. All right, I want to jump back on my dude. I'm glad that I've got this armor repaired. Otherwise, I'd be... Oh! <laughs> this guy's so annoying. I need him dead. I need you dead. Get out of here. Get out of my face. Even though I'm kind of the one getting in your face. That's what you get. That is what you get, oh, Tempered Colossus. Wow. Okay. We got close to one of them another time. Now I'm now I'm seeing what would have been, what could have happened. <laughs> Thankfully, the other one didn't attack us. But hey, supply drop. <gasps> Divine Argy Saddle. Oh, hey, guys. How you doing? Giant dragon. Man, dragons everywhere today. Everywhere. Mighty Etium Wyvern. That thing looks strong. Um, Very strong as a matter of fact. Oh, my goodness. Not as strong as you. This thing tough. All right, look, let me get my stuff and get out of here because that's all I want to do. 
I'm wait, what did I just pick up? That was something pretty sweet there. Hold on a second. What is this? Mastercraft Gaia Cop Oh, it's Copper Shield. That's the way it's like that's not that exciting. But uh cool. I'll try and pretend that I'm excited about that. Alright, this place is just wild. I and I don't know how I feel about it. <gasps> Guardian Dragon! Yo! Oh, Gigazilla! Buddy! I'm gonna tame you one day, but we're clearly not ready to deal 10 billion torpor just hello. Who be fighting? Is that a bat? Bat? This is not the time. This is just not the time. I'm gonna fight a guardian dragon. I said I wasn't gonna get distracted. Well, too bad. We're getting distracted from our plan. I don't know what sort of damage this guy's gonna deal, but we're about to find out. Guardian dragon. Let's fight. Let's fight, friend. What do you what do you got up your sleeve, hey? You got you, can you do 200,000 damage? I think so. But we're gonna try we're gonna, we're gonna find out. Buddy, let's do this thing. You distracted me from my base finding plans, but whatever. So be it. I really gotta get some good fire breaths on this guy because he is being a little pest. Yeah, that's better. Can I just I just wanna get him stuck on me to be honest? That'd be like the best kind of outcome, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Meanwhile, giant Gigazilla fighting beneath. Okay, bat. Do you really, you really want some of this? Be gone, friend. Be gone. All right, come on, mate. Let's go. Let's go. Bring it on. Bring it on. Yeah. You can't do a thing to stop me. I am un. I don't know where I was going with that. I was going to say impenetrable, but I said un, and then it kind of got awkward, and then I just don't know. Our dude here, though, is a third of the way down. I'm going to go replenish some of my stamina and contemplate taming up a divine pegasus. No, we're here to fight this guy. No, we're actually here to find a base, but we're doing this anyway. Where's that stamina? I'll just bite you. I'll just bite you. Or not. I'm getting forced to land. All right, we actually completely ran out of stamina then. Can I get you stuck here by any chance? Yes. No. No. You're there, but you can hit me and I can't hit you. That's not how this is meant to work. Yes. Aha. Aha. Ha, ha, ha. Yes. It's working. It's working. Bit of an unorthodox battle, but I don't care. I'm getting what I want. Dealing more damage than you are. And I'm slowly working him down. This works. Works for me. <laughs> Somehow. I don't know how this works. But I don't really care either. We got him down halfway. Give me your bones. I need that bone dust, old dragon. If I could breathe fire up there, you better believe I would. Oh, I think a bomb. Yep, Bombdo. Just contributing his little bit of damage to the massacre that's currently unfolding. Come on. The quicker we get this done, dragon, the quicker I can get on with fighting my new base. Which I'm very much looking forward to. Place your bets, guys. Who, who thinks we're just going to end up living in one of our old bases? Because <laughs> honestly, right now, we have found some pretty sweet spots with our old bases. And uh, they're all looking pretty good compared to anything I've found today. Except for the giant castle, of course. Anyways, friend, you're finished. You are absolutely finished. And Excuse me? What is that? Uh... <laughs> what? What? The Aether Guardian? Excuse me, with one billion health. Um, where did you come from? What is? What, what do you? What do you? Well, yep. Okay. Cool. I mean, no, no, not very cool at all. I, I'm not. Okay, here I was. Here I was acting like Mr. Tough Guy. I'm not ready to to fight the the, the what the what the Aether Guardian, the Aether Guardian. Um, he got a million health. That's a lot of nibbles. That's a lot, a lot of nibbles. And I don't, um, yep, no, thank you very much. Nice to meet you though. I'm sure we'll cross paths another time eventually, but not right now. Not right now. However, we do have another little supply drop up here. And since these things have been decking us out so lovely, lovingly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna just deal with this dreadful little being right here. Goodbye, old Allosaurus. Thank you very much for uh, playing. What do we got in here? We got a spider saddle, a ghillie chest piece. It doesn't matter. Loot. We've got loot. That's all that matters right now. Sweet, sweet loot. And we've got what looks like a wyvern trench, but it kind of isn't at the same time. This is a really cool looking area. Can I live on top of this? Oh my goodness, maybe. Like, 
I don't know how I would make that work. But this is a beautiful looking spot on top of one of these metal rocks. The only problem here is we're nowhere near the center of the map. We're right on the edge of it. Oh, there's a little shrine up here too. Is this... I definitely haven't been here, have I? This is a different shrine. No, this is another one of them. Yeah, wait, we haven't been here before, have we? I know I've seen this shrine, but... Was it... Are there two of them? Because I don't remember it looking like this. But then again, there is... Uh, maybe we have been here. Maybe I did. I don't... It looked like it's familiar, but not... Either way, I can't, uh, nah, I can't picture a base there. However, hold on a second. Is, are we where I think we are? Is this, if I see some flowers popping up right about now, then it is. No flowers. Hold on. Up here. Are there flowers up here? Are there flowers up here? Uh, is there a little wooden house? A little thatch hut? This is our base, our first base. I haven't been here since it got absolutely annihilated by a Kano, I think. Oh, my gravestone's still here too. Oh, I, I, I've been looking for this. I didn't know where it was. Oh, we got multiple gravestones out here. Dude, that's so awesome. And we got a supply drop. Dropping right down on our head with a bronze pick in it. Snow our saddle and another chest piece blueprint. Interesting. So say a dreadful triceratops stuck underground. Let me help you out there, mate. You look like you're a little bit stuck. Would you like a would you like a hand getting out of there, mate? Would you like a hand <laughs> getting out of there? <laughs> Happy to help anytime, mate. Well, I certainly wasn't gonna leave this area without grabbing this. Now was I? We got a decent pickaxe, to be honest. I can finally get good crystal if I don't, you know, put it away in my invent base inventory. Oh my good, now there's a blue one too. Awesome. Double whammy, baby. What is inside of here? I kind of want to keep it a surprise. Let's hide the spyglass and let's have a peek. This one has a... <laughs> it's got Syntax hair. It's got some other tranky dude stuff and a rot cell elixir. Temporarily expands your photoreceptor cells, allowing you to see in the dark for 15 minutes. I mean, that'll be handy when we explore our next cave, I think. Very, very cool. You know, it's not very, very cool, though. Still haven't found our future base location. Unless we want to just occupy an entire island. In which case, we might be looking at our future base location. Because this looks pretty sweet. Let's have a look at what is inhabita inhabiting inhabiting this island. Inhabiting. Inhabiting. Either way, all I see is dodos. Lots of dodos. Trouted on turtles. Pretty much everything you'd expect to find on an island. Also, a little hut. Interesting. All right. So someone has lived here before. Okay, then. I wonder what is inside. Nothing. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> it's empty. There's nothing here. So I, I mean, from what I'm, from what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did you come from? Just hiding behind the hut. Are you one of the previous owner's pets or something, mate? Is that what you're doing here? Old tech parrot? No. Okay. Um, hey, from what I'm kind of gathering... This is a vacant island. Oh, dreadful wyvern. I mean, it, it looks pretty vacant. Do you, do, you, do you think we can move in here? I mean, this, this, I mean, it's, 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 look, I'm interested. I'm interested. And I don't see any owners. Otherwise, I would, I would make an offer to them. I'd, you know, I'm happy, willing, willing to pay for it. But, um, you know, maybe, uh, maybe we just, uh, claim it as our own buddy. And there's only one way to do that. This island. And everything on it now belongs and is claimed by Miola. If anyone has a problem with this, speak now or accept the fate. <laughs> Guys, tomorrow construction begins.